Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Arad. And uh, in today's video, we're going to check into the 8th of uh, September 2022, uh, which happens to be Thursday, and uh, see what uh, Taro has to say uh, for that particular day. <laughs> There is even rhyme in it. So uh, with that said, if you are interested in uh, having a personal reading with me, you can always uh, go to my website, which link you're going to find in the description down below. And also, if you think that this video is worth your while, please leave a like and subscribe for the channel for more content here at uh, Radko Tarot. So with that said, uh, let's see what uh, kind of a day we do have. Uh, the first one that is going to be the Knight of uh, Wands. Followed by uh, the second card for the day, which stands as uh, Justice. And the third card for the day, uh, that is going to be Four of Cups, right? So we do have these three cards. Uh, and that is how the Elemental Dignity reading stands. Okay, if uh, nothing else, this Thursday, uh, it's going to be quite of an interesting day. And uh, we are, if nothing else, guys, we are going to have a, uh, how can I put it into words? We're going to have ourselves spending a quality time with uh, a specific individual, that Knight of Wands, uh, which you can see here on your screen. So that could be a man or a woman uh, for uh, the court cards. They do not represent gender. They do represent character. And the, char the character of that person is that they are a very enterprising individual, very passionate about selective things. Okay, not about everything, but a selective things, which they find interesting and which they do find amusing. And um, I don't know how this exactly is going to play out. It's a little bit far-fetched the way that is going to play out. What is certain though, it is that together, it seems that uh, you will, um, let's put it that way, you will find out something interesting to chase. Let's put it yeah, let's put it that way. Uh, what we do have here with the Knight of Wands and the Four of Cups as an elemental dignity shows that with this person, you're finally going to have something to look forward to. You're finally going to have something to uh, to chase. It's not even fighting for. These two cards does represent when um, you just don't know what to do next. It is because nothing really catches your eye at that given time. There could be things which are catching your eye, but they may be, but you are maybe unable to to take part of them at this given moment. And so there isn't anything particular throughout that day that you really find interesting. But this person sh shows up uh, into your environment. Now that could be a good friend of yours, sibling, for example, coworker, or why not your significant one as well? Or it could be as well a person with a uh, romantic incentive towards you. Whichever the case, though. Uh, when they come up um, and they point you to something they do find very interesting and very amusing, you're going to find it interesting and amusing as well. And that way, that will allow you to look out, to look forward to a certain enterprise, endeavor, situation, challenge, even if you will, uh, that is going to add up to the fruits of your labor. It's just you will consider yourself being more successful once you complete it. Bear in mind that uh, the completion may be further down the road into the future. In this day, Thursday, it is just the uh, the mark that you are going to set, all right? The mark that, yeah, that's something interesting. I like it and uh, I want to see if I can have it, all right? I want to see if I can um, pull it through and, and or push it through rather. And uh, that correlates very well as well with uh, the Justice card, which is from the other side of the Knight of uh, Wands, which pretty much speaks that under normal circumstances, even if you on your own, you have figured out that interesting enterprise, this uh, enthusiastic inter uh, enterprise, there will be a big problem. That is, how can I find time to chase it? Okay, that is going to be a huge problem. But this person, this individual, Knights of Wounds, is going to have the answer for you. And their answer is going to be actually very, very sensical. It will be like that uh, discernment that they're going to have, um, swapping some kind of a uh, 
responsibility, responsibility, quote unquote, because this may not be really a responsibility into your daily routine with this interesting endeavor. And things are going to look much brighter at that particular uh, stage. So uh, is there a chance that could be someone that you can associate yourself emotionally with? What, what I mean, someone, can that be a person that you can start dating? yeah but that is the most um that is the most unfavorable way how this can play out and it is not because the dates are going to be bad or that this person is going to cheat on you so on and so forth they aren't going to cheat on you they may just leave you right there on spot because remember yeah they are enterprising yes they are very interesting very passionate about stuff that they find amusing and that's the real issue. As soon as you become uninteresting to them, so they explore you fully, they take full part of your life, they know everything about you, you will lose your interest. And if they haven't changed by that time, if they haven't settled by that time, they are going to leave you. So just if you happen to start dating today, just so you know what you are getting yourself into. Uh, the more favorable developments is if that person uh, shows up into your work career or friendship circle, then rest assured that whatever enterprise we're talking about here, they are going to be willing to get to the very end of it. All right. There is no abandoning uh, or they, there, is, there is no them abandoning you. There is no them abandoning uh the the, the enterprise uh, the enterprise itself and uh it's a little bit far-fetched as well here uh that elemental dignity in between uh, justice card and the knights of wands but also that person may bring certain answers to you and when i say answers i mean what you should do next that kind of an answers you don't know what to do next which your life for example as overall uh which your love life or which your business and even though the enterprise may not relate to it in any way, still either through example from them or either through, you know, you trust them and you talk about your, your concerns, they may straight away give you the answer what you should do. It's going to be a rather simple one, but it's going to be an amazingly effective one. And so with that said, this is our um, daily tarot reading uh, for uh, September 9th. 2022. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.